Okay. I am not a very aggressive person. You know, I'm not really too confrontational. I like to keep things peaceful. You know, even if someone has wronged me, I don't really like to make a scene over it. I don't like to. You know, I usually take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, you know, to keep the peace. Okay. And something happened and I believe you can learn something from this. I can't really say I learned something because it is something I already knew, but <laughs> I guess going through it, I guess my mind went blank toward it, perhaps. I don't know. Anyways, um, there is a person that I help. And yes, we all aren't perfect, but there is a person that I help. And okay, I believe you know what I am going to say. And it seems like, I don't know if he does it on purpose, but it seems like he kind of pushes. I think sometimes he goes out of the boundary, but it seems like to me, he continues to push me, push me, push me, push me, push me, push me. And then if I politely say something, I think much of the time that person gets mad. Like, I have to be careful with what I am going to say. It's like that person is, like that person's mind is, if you know what I mean. Something happened, something else happened between me and that person. And I got mad. I don't believe I did anything wrong, but I'm like, well, whether he gets mad or not, whether he whatever, you know, I am going to tell that person, not really yelling. I raised my voice some. And if that was bad, God, please forgive me. I raised my voice some, but I was more firm. Like I said, I am not a confrontational person. I like to keep the peace. Well, I'm not confrontational to everyone. Well, no. I am not much of a confrontational person, no. So that time I was firm. You know, and that person kind of did what I expected. And I was, I believe I was irritated, mad, irritated. I think irritated is slightly angered. I think I was in between, I guess I was irritated. And I was praying, I was talking to God about what happened. And I believe I was telling God, 
I am trying to do the Christian thing and this person, blah, 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 blah. And almost around the time when I said I am trying to do the Christian thing, I believe something came to my thoughts. Something like, then close your mouth. As in, when that person is doing that stuff to you, like, I think being kind of outrageous, maybe not to the far end, but doing things that, you know, that may not make too much sense. I believe something came to my mind. If, you know, while I was saying something like I am trying to do the Christian thing, trying to be nice to this person, I believe something came to my mind saying something like, then close your mouth you know for instance if that person is causing issues close your mouth like don't don't really challenge that person yes i can say hey please don't do this please don't do that but don't really challenge that person and <laughs> I was thinking of an excuse like, I believe I prayed. What if that person does something else? What if that person like continues to do what is wrong? I believe a thought like that came to my mind. Like I was, I mean, I was asking that while I was praying. So, and I think I thought about that more and more and more about not challenging that person. You know, just pretty much taking it within means. Not so far means, you know, if he was punching on me, <laughs> I should not take that, right? I guess. But anyways, for what he is doing, if it is not way out too far, take it. Yes, I probably can say, please stop, blah, 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 blah. But ultimately, take it. And you may say, Kevin, you are a doormat. You are going to allow people to walk all over you, blah, 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 blah. Look now, I believe the Bible tells us we have to be patient and long-suffering. So what is long-suffering? I believe I defined this with my Bible reading partner. I think long-suffering is going through a problem, but being patient through it something like that right so if that be the case we need to be long-suffering and patient you see some people may think they are doing right but because of what they went through maybe they have gone through some trauma abuse or whatever you know, it may take some time for that person to learn, hey, like, <laughs> I am acting in a way that it is not good. Let me change. Let me stop being the way I am. Myself, back in the past, I used to be <laughs> so rude, so mean, so hateful. I used to be so bad to some people. So <laughs> if I was that bad, but now I am the way I am, that person can change as well. So what I am going to do, I am going to be like, only if you knew what that person has acted toward me like you would really be surprised but anyways i ask god for mercy so much 
so shouldn't I be merciful to others? And if I be that way, aren't we going to reap what we sow? So if I continue to show that man mercy and some other people mercy, I believe more mercy will come unto me, right? I hope so. But I was really irritated, I believe, at that person. Really irritated. Like, I was having thoughts come to my mind. Like, I believe I had thoughts I should do this and blah, 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 blah. But, you know, as time passed by, I believe I have more time to think. I'm like, no, I'm not going to do that. I could do it, but see, that's the thing about it. Even if we may have an advantage over a person, you have to understand God is monitoring everything. God is looking at your intentions and at what you do. So, what you are doing may not seem wrong in your mind, but if you look at it in a spiritual, godly way, you have to do it right. You have to do it right. And um, I don't know what it is called, but I was receiving, we have to test the spirit, right? I was receiving thoughts or whatever, thoughts about probably, how can I say it? I was, I was receiving thoughts about that person, about, you know, this person may have blah, 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 blah. I believe that is, now it could be demons, but, but I don't think so. But I was getting information about that person was coming to my mind. I am not a sidekick. So don't say that. I am not a sidekick. Sometimes, sometimes random pieces of information comes to me about a person. And yes, I have to be careful with what I believe. So we have to test the spirit because it could be a demon giving me that information or it could be the Holy Spirit. So I have to test it. You may say, how, like, how does that information come to you? Sometimes I believe I get uh, like a word or words. Sometimes I get like, uh, like pieces, <laughs> like pieces of information. Um, and sometimes rare, I think it's rare and I'm not sure if it is of God or not, like a dominant trait that person has, I would be able to feel it. I think that happened. Now, I'm not sure if that is of God or not, but I believe that rarely happens. I think that happened maybe three or four times or probably more, I'm not sure. Maybe that is what I am speaking of, word of knowledge or something, the gift of word of knowledge or maybe, I have no idea. Or could it be discernment? Maybe it is discernment, but the gift of knowledge, word of knowledge. Okay, so if you are dealing with a person that is giving you a hard time, it really depends on what it is. If that person is trying to kill you, stay away from that person. But if you are going through something similar to I, you may have to look. I think as time passes by, I think God purposely brings certain type of people in my life i am telling you so instead of trying to run away from that person depending on the case 
I guess. Let me just take some pain, I guess, or take some irritation, whatever, and probably as time passed by, I can influence that person to come to Jesus Christ. I mean, to serve. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? To serve Jesus Christ. Because now you may think, well, if it's a coincidence, that person only is in your life because of this reason, that reason. No, I don't think so. I think almost everyone that comes in my path I believe much of the time God placed that person on my path, I believe, for me to influence that person. Not to say I am this top super Christian, elite Uncle Kev, no. My mind is fixed. Yes, I make mistakes. I say some things I should not say. Sometimes I get overly angry or whatever, but my mind is fixed to live for Jesus Christ. It is fixed. Like nothing can change it. Nothing. Nothing. You can't give me a billion dollars to not serve Jesus Christ. Okay, let me stop here. God bless you.